first, please allow us to just introduce ourselves uh, a little bit. Uh, and uh, maybe first, I would like to talk quickly about uh, um, Balance House. So uh, let me just share the screen. So as Hannah already mentioned that our vision at Balance is really to support people in their journey toward health, balance, and personal transformation. Um, and we have a very unique um, approach. So that at Balance, we use a very holistic and integrative approach. So for example, we integrate Chinese medicine, energy medicine, and my body medicine to really look at what's the root cause of the imbalance and then support people to get back to harmony and balance and health in a very natural approach. And what we do best is uh, like warm health, fertility, stress management and sleep, um, pain management, being physical, emotional pain, and also personal development and transformation. So that is uh, about uh, um, balance house um, and for ourselves, that has already introduced that um, I'm an MBA alumni uh, from 2006. And uh, maybe a little bit about my um, journey that after MBA, I did a few years of a typical MBA type of job. But then I quit and I tried to find my uh, Northern Lights. Uh, and today I'm very happy and grateful that I do find uh, my past and my northern lights uh, and I'm uh, not only running a business which is aligned with my belief but also myself is uh, uh, executive coach and life coach uh, and my work is a lot about to really support people to realize their highest potential to connect with their purpose um, to connect with their inner power and then to optimize the mind and optimize the body and really to achieve the peak performance without stress, but with ease and grace. So that's a bit uh, about me and my work and uh, I'm very grateful to be able to do this. And together with me today, we also have uh, Clara Chang. So Dr. Clara Chang is a registered Chinese medicine doctor. She has a master in acupuncture and PhD in uh, Chinese medicine with HKU. So prior to becoming a Chinese medicine doctor, Clara actually has been working for the corporate for close to 30 years. And her last role is actually heading the global quality assurance uh, and Asian sourcing for the big company Nike. So she truly understands the stressful corporate life um, that many of you have. Um, and clinically that a lot of clients were raving about uh, Clara's very effective pain management treatment or uh, cro treating chronic disease. Um, but for Clara, especially in the recent years, the thing made her feel most fulfilled um, is around to supporting the couples who have um, fertility challenges to conceive babies. Nothing brings us a bigger smile when we see those uh, <laughs> newborn babies coming to, to the clinic uh, through our whole support along the journey. And we also have uh, Catherine Hermitz coming joining us today. Uh, she is a registered kinesiology practitioner and she has been practicing energy medicine for around 10 years. Um, she's also a holistic health coach and recently she incorporates uh, therapeutic yoga into her um, practice um, as well. And Catherine also comes with around 20 years uh, working experience in the corporate, in the big finance uh, industries, as uh, having a lot of global projects and she has worked in France, India um, and Hong Kong. So that naturally um, today she support a lot of uh, very stressful professionals to do stress management, insomnia, anxiety, depression and help them to get back uh, to, to balance. Um, so that's about the team for today um, and our intention and for this session, we probably is um, we are going to spend around 30 minutes. We want to keep it uh, short and concise, um, but really to share with you uh, the key frameworks, how to think about sleep, the key knowledge, and then we'll give you um, some very practical tools so you can take back home uh, to practice on your own and to improve uh, your sleep. 
Um, so let me share my screen again. And um, first, I would like to share our first framework. Give me a moment. Let me share the screen. So the first framework that we would like to share is really around the, the holistic approach toward health. So when we look at sleep, when we look at any aspect that we would like to improve, being health, treating disease, or just being at peak performance, we would like to look at all these four elements, our body, our mind, our energy, and our spirit. So when we look at all these four elements together and use a very integrated approach, then we have a very compound effect to make the whole effect even better. And then related with sleep, sleep is super important because it will impact our body and it will impact our mind, it can make our mind to be more focused, have better memory and think more clarity. It also impact our energy and it gives us more grounded spirit as well. So super important for sleep. And if we zoom in into the body level, and if we zoom in into the body level, then again, we also need to use a very holistic way to look at the body. And those are key elements we need to take into consideration is stress, sleep, um, digestion and diet and food, exercise, hormonal balance, toxicity, uh, genetics, all these elements we need to take into consideration. When we sleep well, all the other elements were enhanced. But at the same time, when we do not sleep well, and sleep is something different than diet or exercise, you can just do. When you don't sleep well, you cannot just want to sleep well at will. So how to improve sleep? Apart from sleep itself, we also need to look into the other elements like food and digestion, exercise, uh, hormone balance and toxicity and all that uh, we will elaborate more uh, later. So now we know that sleep is so important, but then what is good sleep uh, and what is sleep disorder? So Dr. Clara Chung, would you yeah, want us to know a bit more? Yeah, probably take, a lot of people will think that um, eight hours sleep is good, right? But actually it's very individualized. And then like everybody's demand on sleep is can be quite different. And uh, it all depends on their own circadian rhythm, like it's, which is the, the rest and wake rhythm that they, they are going through. Um, in If you go back to research, like actually um, from adults that age around like 26 to 64, the um, sleep foundations in the in US is actually thought that any time between like any, any the range is around like six hours sleep to 10 hours sleep is all acceptable, depends on your personal need. So what what is a good sleep? The sleep is like probably is it all go back to the quality of sleep and also like whether you wake up with a, enough energy to go through the day. And let, let's say what is enough energy is like you, you have energies to go through the whole day's activities without falling asleep, without feeling tired, then you probably has already have a good sleep. So don't take it so adamant on like, oh, eight hours is a must. But then like, rather, I think that is like more important to go, to go for like a quality of sleep. And then like what most of the people complain on two things, like most of the people complain on two things. It's like, how, how can I, um, fall, I don't fall asleep. Well, like it take me two hours to fall asleep. Or I wake up constantly during the night and I cannot fall back asleep. So this, those two are, two are most commonly, so most commonly we heard during our clinical practices. So, so in, from a TCM point of view, they are of different patterns of insomnia. So like for people that can fall asleep, like a very high percentage of them is actually having the excessive pattern. And the excessive pattern is actually caused by the excessive of heat or like, uh, which is, can be caused by the yin deficiency, which can be caused by um, uh, a T stagnation, some liver T stagnations, or actually it can um, be some, some um, path pathogens in the body that cannot be clear, like a blood clot or, or like um, excessive flame in the body. All can cause heat and then the heat will make you too active to fall asleep. 
And the other, the other patterns are actually you wake up at night. Normally, it's also due to like you have a deficiency syndromes. So like the deficiency syndromes is also related to um, a lower performance of the heart system or the spleen system. Occasionally, it will involve the, the liver and the gallbladder system too. Um, another very, very common um, symptoms that we saw or, or patterns that we saw in a modern city life is that um, we found that there's, there's a disharmony between the heart system and the kidney system, which make it um, very disturbed and then you cannot calm yourself down and, and then like you don't have, can, has a limitation of going into deep sleep. We will talk a little bit more about that when we give tips to improve your sleep. But um, basically, we are looking at different patterns and then like um, there's different reasons for that behind the scene. So in order to improve the sleep, you have to improve the pathogens, uh, eliminate the pathogens or improve your weakened um, visceral system. That probably is how we approach it.